<laughs> Hello, my name is Sarah Schooley and I am part of the Spring 2009 Organizational Behavior class with the Wesley Plus One team. And today I'll be telling you a little bit about my personality. If it looks like I'm looking down at a screen, it's because I am. I'm just making sure I remember to say things. So, um, I thought I would start off by telling you a little bit about each of the tests that we've taken concentrating mostly on the Myers-Briggs and moving into the Big Five test. And then I'll tell you about some of the strengths and weaknesses um, associated with those things. Starting out, I have a high locus of control. I scored an 80, which reflects what I believe about life. I think that we're each personally in control of our futures. It is encouraging for me to work with groups like ours that are driven to succeed and know that personal input and work go a long way. I'm a high self monitor. I'm a high self monitor, which means I am able to adapt well to external cues and um, social norms. I grew up in a family where my father was really he put us in a lot of situations with older families, um, clients, business settings where I really had to adapt and really had to learn to be flexible and uh, and work with diverse people. So that's not something that surprised me at all. My Machiavelli score was mid-range, which implies that I can bargain well, etc. I'm not really a high or low match. Um, I don't register with ends justifying the means, and I most definitely don't let people walk over me. Um, but I do like to get things accomplished. The only time I think I might give into groupthink or um, let people walk over me is if I'm really, really tired, which could happen because I am an ENFJ and I like to spread myself thin. But we'll get into that a little bit later. So I am a type A, um, but I also say that I have my B days. Um, I prefer structure rather than unstructured time. I always set deadlines for myself. I laughed when I read about uh, the poor health outcomes because I think I've had more colds in the past couple years than I've had in my entire life. Um, being type A, I would say that I am an achiever. Um, I'm very oriented towards getting things accomplished, any type of task or goal throughout the day no matter how small. If I don't accomplish things, then I feel completely dissatisfied, like a day has gone to waste. One thing that I've really been trying to work on is being able to let go of things. When it comes to group projects, sometimes groups don't perform to the standard which I would if I was working alone. I'm a really hard worker. And so in the last few years, I've had to focus on really becoming part of a team and part of a team outcome. I like winning and I am competitive, as you guys probably saw in poker. <laughs> Um, when it comes to group settings, but there have been many times that I've had to step back in the last couple years and really let projects go. But I feel really confident that this group and our levels of agreeableness about future outcomes will go well. So, so on to the Myers-Briggs. Um, I've taken the Myers-Briggs about five times now, and each time I rotate between a T and an F, but my full score is an ENFJ, and I completely relate to the term. The first characteristic, extrovert, marks me well. I love being around people, sharing in conversation is extremely life-giving for me. Um, strangers energize me and I am extremely drawn to them. I love finding common ground that I, I share interests with people, those kind of things, developing interpersonal relationships. Um, and I really like being part of a productive team, which I think we are. But I'm less concerned with structure and process and really more adamant about strength dissemination and letting group members do what they're good at and doing it well. I see myself as an enabler and I really believe in my dreams and the dreams of others. I tend to see the larger picture, but in the past couple years through work experience, I've learned how to pay special attention to details, which comes across heavily in my day. I'm very structured. I take pride in accomplishing tasks, like I said earlier. Um, in general, I've received a lot of feedback from supervisors, and while I always accomplish tax, tasks and finish projects on time, they see my personal life spread pretty thin, um, which I would agree with, but I'll talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes. I really appreciate people who are different than I am, especially thinkers. I value the opinion of a thinker because their thought processes are so clear and logical. So on to the big five. My scores were high on all trades except for stability, which I guess is a good thing. I scored a 4.2 on openness to experience. When reading over the description, I identify with being open to new experiences. One of the suggestions made is to keep track of time spent on problems for yourself and the team. In the last year or so, I've been put in many situations that warrant quick decisions and problem solving. I feel like I'm better equipped today to move forward with a solution than I was a year ago. 
When it comes to conscientiousness, I scored a 4.5. I can't really say that long word. <laughs> this is one of my, the top indicators of job performance and my score does not surprise me. Like I said earlier, um, with any job I've been given, my reviews have always been really good. Um, they've been pretty positive and my work outcome has been commendable. Recently, in the last job in interview that I had, my supervisor gave me all straight fives in all the categories. However, when it came time for comments, she noted that I was always getting work done in a timely manner, that I was always asking for more tasks, that I was always on time, etc. But she was afraid that I was taking time out of my personal life to accomplish tasks and lead committees, things like that. And her assessment was completely correct. I have never been so committed to the outside groups as I have this year, and I am definitely feeling the pressure. Um, I feel like my personality has come out in stronger ways because of this, and I, um, like for instance, the J in my ENFJ, I have to, I've kept my Outlook calendar just completely, really, really structured, and whenever I make a commitment, I have to refer to it, because if one thing gets out of line, then my whole week is completely thrown off, and um, my days are so full that one slip can throw off an entire week. As far as extroversion go, <laughs> goes, I scored a 4.3, um, which I totally assumed would happen. Um, I tend to think before I speak, which is one of the traits of being an extrovert, and I think that I've gotten slightly better at this within the last year, but it's definitely something I need to hone in on and develop. I scored a 4.4 on agreeableness, and I would agree <laughs> that I am personable. However, I feel like this is one trait that is was miscalculated on this test. Um, I think this is a trait that is completely situational for me. In a work setting, I, I would think that I would get a lower score. I'm certainly not afraid to challenge an idea or offer criticism, and I would really hope that my peers would offer me the same feedback. I value honesty in all situations, and I would rather hear a negative truth from someone than a watered down, that's great. I've learned in planning that sometimes there needs to be a person that asks hard questions and challenges things. So. I scored a 3.6 on stability, which talks about remaining calm under stressful situations. Uh, these people are also good at mediating. I resonate with me mediation skills. I think I've been a mediator my entire life. I'm the middle child. Um, and I feel like those two traits are things that I've really been able to put into practice as a PA the last few years. One comment or challenge mentioned is suppressing my own feelings, which then suggests to deal with personal conflicts quickly. And I wish I had taken this test two years ago because it's too late for to, to tell me to deal with conflicts early on. Um, my first year as a PA, last year, I didn't resolve issues right away and things festered. My frustrations doubled, leading to some really negative outcomes. Um, so today, resolving conflicts is one of the very first things that I do. and. I don't believe in people being past aggressive. I think it's stupid, so <laughs> um, that's one thing that I'll never be. These tests indicate that I'm a hard worker. I like to stay on task and accomplish goals. I'm not afraid to give constructive criticism to projects, and I confront conflicts in front rather than waiting. Some of my weaknesses include spreading myself too thin, being frustrated with people who lack motivation, and speaking before I think. I resonate with almost all the tests, and I am thankful for the assessment, but um, I think I'm really going to enjoy working on this team. I, I think it'll be different because in most projects that I've had, in most teams that I've been on, I'm almost always lead, but I really enjoy being a support person. Um, I'm always a hard worker, I'm always committed and ready to work, and I'm really flexible. So whatever role needs to be met, I'll meet it and I'll study it and fill it. As far as um, how I act, I guess... Sorry, I'm reading my notes and I don't really know where I left off. <laughs> but basically I don't I don't really care what role I play. Um, but I get really frustrated if I have to be a mediator the whole time and so that's one thing. I don't think that we'll have a problem with it, but um, I've been in past groups where all I've been doing is mediating the whole time. It just gets really annoying and really tired. But, um, but I think that the best teams are teams that everyone is playing every single role and everyone has equal say and equal input and are contributing successfully and effectively. Um, and I think that as far as examples were given such as being a leader or a joker or a slacker and I think that at some point everyone is going to play one of those roles and that's just the way that group projects go. 
As far as working style, I like to accomplish tasks in one setting um, and then getting back and editing a few weeks later. So really I do things right away and then I sit on them and then I go forward and edit them again. But, um, but I'm able to adapt to people, like I said earlier. And so however we choose to do this project will be fine with me. <laughs> um, and then I guess I will consider us successful when at the end of this quarter we'll, we can look back and say we had fun and say we accomplished the things that we went out to do and got a good grade. And so that's kind of where I'm at. And thank you for listening and I can't wait for next week. Okay, bye.